Hello everyone, and um, basically, here's my very first throwback movie review of, it came, um, of basically, a movie that came out earlier this year, and I watched it today, and I'm basically here to give you my opinion on it, and that is Maleficent, and for the future's sake, I do apologize if my voice comes across, come, if my voice comes across very raspy and shaky and gritty, I'm, sorry, I'm still finding a call that's been a full week since I've been having it. Whatever, excuses, don't mean shit. I'm here, here to give you my review of Maleficent. Basically, um, Maleficent is basically a certain type of re rebooting type of, or re rebooting or rip-off type of things. Um, from the last few years, uh, we've all been doing from certain movies, like, um, basically, just like, you know, like, um, Return of Oz, which I really, really liked. And, um, there's also the Alice in Wonderland, that's what it is, Alice in Wonderland, which a lot of people hate, and, yeah, that's a terrible film, that's a really bad film, don't, don't see that film. And those are the only two things, and those, to me, are the only two films that come to mind. I hated Alice in Wonderland, but I quite, but I really did enjoy my, my first shade of Return to Oz. So this film, I was kind of half and half, of, like, I remember seeing the trailers in December for this film last year, and, and, I, was, and I was just like, it, it seems interesting, because when you go back and see, like, the very first teaser trailer, you just see Maleficent hiding in the shadows, and then you just see her face. It's a, it's a great tension building up for, towards what it is, and I really enjoyed that. Um, and basically, the story goes like this, you know, it's a whole... Um, backstory of Maleficent, um, and from her side of the story, and basically her seeing, um, the girl grow up, and basically, you know, her casting a spell on her, and basically, um, that's what my story is, and, um, first off, I want to say, like, there's moments, I want to say this straight off the bat, there's moments within this film where you can see a smarter script. And you can see a, a generally decent film. I don't see this winning any Oscars or anything like that. But there's some moments where you could have been like, that definitely could have been better. It, it wouldn't have been fantastic. But it could have been better. It's like, it could have been better. Because there's hints all across the floor. Because there's, cause there's really strong hints at moments where it could have been a really good um, fantasy, dis fantasy Disney film. I did see... At certain points to certain potentials where it was like showing good cinematography and decent effects and some moments where you're just like hey that's very much fantasy like I enjoyed that and um, I would easily start about with this and of course the best part of the film I will say is of course Angelina Jolie as Maleficent she is dead on with this character she is really really good I will admit that she is really well cast and when you see her there's a moment, there's like three or four moments where I was just like, I don't see Angelina Jolie, I see Maleficent. I was really surprised by it. I thought she was genuinely good and she was quite genuinely creepy at times. Like, you'll never see laugh or anything like that. Or deliver a really funny line or a really weird line. You can tell she's just truly enjoying what she's doing. It's just really, really, it's kind of like an over-the-top performance, a very subtle over-the-top performance, if that's even possible, however, uh, whatever, but um, basically, I think her performance was just a tad too weird, but it was just, in hit those moments where it was just like, that's so enjoyably good, and of course, I will admit, the film is, of course, shot well, it's, it's shot well, excuse me, it's shot well, and there's some moments where I was just like, mm, okay, like, that's fine for what it was. And I do like little hints of the nature of the fantasy aspects of a show within it. You know, like life of growth and some creature designs were actually pretty cool to look at. And the effects at times were pretty decent, I would say. Like, it's like a 30, like on the effects, like of a 100% meter from this side of the screen to this side, it's like uh, probably around here, it's like 30% good at times. 60% pretty bad at times. Like, there's some ones which is really shoddy and shit, and I will admit that it's pretty, it's pretty crap. And overall, I would I would definitely say that the story at times I I, th I thought like it could have had a bit 
it had a bit of potential, but there is so many bad dialogues in this one. The, the dialogue is just everywhere. The story is just totally non-existent. I will say, at mo at great moments. And the, there's some moments. The film is like almost two hours. It's like 110 something minutes, and I'm just like, it can be. It could have been reduced by 10 minutes or so. And by the end, I just feel like it really freaking dragged on. It seems like so tacked on. And by the point when it doesn't, it feels like it was just immediately chopped off like a last minute idea. So it seemed like there's some moments when you when you're watching this film, you're just like that is so sloppily, terribly idea. Put it in. It's like why would he do that? You could have expanded on that or made it smart, shorter, or expanded upon. There's some moments where it could have been like that. And, um, there's a lot, like I said, the bad effects. And of course, the acting at times is really bad. Like, like how I said, Angelina, Angelina Jolie as Maleficent, she was good. She's in the category of her own way. But the girl, the I have the girl's name here on my laptop, and it is El Fanning. Uh, how can I forget that El Fanning? It's El Fanning, and I gotta say, she's really not that good in this movie. Like, she really has this really bland and boring, broken delivery to her software. Just like, oh, honey, you could do so much better. And also, you got Sean Copley from District 9 and Elysium. I'm just like, he's a good actor. But he's, he is so wasted. And he has, his character was so flat. And this just seems so lifeless and boring and just totally dull. And there's some moments of that. And another thing that I would say really, really did piss me off, like it's probably my least favorite thing of all, is the three fairies. And if you go back to the original Sleeping Beauty, I those three fairies were the best part of that film. They were friggin' wonderful in the, in the Sleeping Beauty. They were excellent characters. They were fun, they were careful, they were caring, they were sweet, they were genuine characters. In this film, A, well, here's my big point for those, these, the three fairies in this film is that A, the CG and the animation on them is total crap. B, the performances are like are so hammy and so on the top you cannot even, that it points is very cringeworthy. Um, C is that they're just played so dumbly and it's, it's so insulting. Where it's, I'm like, were you trying? Aren't you gonna take notes from the original? Yes, I know they're trying to make it seem like they haven't been have a for I know that in a certain way they're trying to have a bit of fun with it. But if you're trying to have fun with it, why is there so much dark imagery and creature designs and weird and gross and very very like PG thirteen PG thirteen kind of material mo moments? So if you kind of for and that makes the film, in my view, kind of well, very unbalanced and very off focused. And by the end, that truly just angered me. Like, mm, can you please just try? There's, and in the end, that's how I kind of felt about the film. I thought the moments, it could have been true. Like I said before, there's moments where it seems like, you know, it has a sense of a smarter script underneath it, um, within better hands. It could have been a pretty good film. And I will admit, Angelina Jolie was fine for what she was, and I do like the like the cinematography at times. It was pretty unique and gothic at the moment. I love the type of gothic designs it would have in moments. But in the end, it came off as a very, very repugnant, redundant, unfocused, all-around messy mess. Messy mess? Whatever. Um, and in the end, I thought it was just a real, real write down for what it was. And I would definitely grade Maleficent at a 35%. It does have some good potential, like Angelina Jolie, and it has some good cinematography at times. But in the end, it came off as one of the most boring and disappointing films of the year. I would say Maleficent gets a 35%. Well, that's my rating, everyone. I hope you enjoyed my review of Maleficent. I hope you really enjoyed it. And tomorrow, I will have my review. And well, actually, no, I'm not going to tell you, but keep it, keep around for tomorrow's review. It, it will be something that some people may really enjoy. Until then, everyone, I hope you enjoyed my review. And remember, stay strong.